The first graphic novel of the Dragon Prince Through the Moon was filled with its fair share of great moments. One of my smaller favorite moments from this is the panel where we see Opelli being overwhelmed by the news that King Ezrin was about to be departing, <laughs> leaving her with all the responsibilities of running the kingdom. It's a small moment, only one panel long, but it's definitely a humorous one. The scene that I wanted to talk about today is probably the best moment of the entire graphic novel, in my opinion. And it doesn't take place with any of the characters that you might expect. Let me explain. The plot of Through the Moon involves Rayla trying to accept the fact that Viren, the man who has taken her whole family from her and nearly killed her a few weeks prior, was in fact dead. Something that she struggles to accept as she continues to have harrowing nightmares about Viren once again returning to take away more from her. She fears that one day he's going to resurface and take the last person that she cares about, her newfound boyfriend Callum. Callum tries to help her face her fears by simply dismissing them. This triggers a very strong outburst from Rayla. She expresses how she is not going to be able to move on and that perhaps a vacation might be the thing to help her relax. So all of them head over to the Moon Nexus and while there she struggles to accept what had happened. A new location is not as helpful as she had hoped. Eventually she and Callum end up in a huge fight. During this fight Callum expresses the anger that he has quietly held on to. Anger about how her surrogate father, Runan, had murdered his surrogate father, King Harrow. After this, there's not much left to be said as Rayla storms off. The next day, she approaches Sorin of all people. She asks if she can speak with him privately, to which he curiously accepts. And it is this scene with the two of them together that is my favorite. And I'm going to explain why. Sorin is a very well-liked character in the series. And in the plot of the graphic novel, he plays a very minor role. But he gets this one entire scene where we get a lot of insights into his thoughts and reactions to the events that had proceeded in the past three seasons of the show. Once alone, Soren asks Rayla what it is that she wanted to talk to him about, at which point she brings up a very sore subject. Based on Soren's grim look and the deep amount of shame that he feels when this question is asked, it is apparent that these feelings are still very strong. Rayla asks what happened to all the elves the night that they attacked the castle of Catullus. In the very next panel, we see him hang his head low as he begins to explain that his fought, but he stops himself. Unable to acknowledge Viren as his father, he instead switches and cuts himself off and calls him Viren. He is clearly feeling so much shame and regret for everything that he had done to help his father that night despite him not knowing any better at the time. He explains to her that all of them were turned into magical things, well, except for one. He explains to Rayla that the one who had shot the arrow into the night was captured instead. Rayla excitedly recognizes this as Runan. She asks further details about what happened to him. Soen rubs the back of his neck uncomfortably looking away, unable to keep eye contact with Rayla, trying to change the subject and asking if they really need to talk about this. At which point Rayla jumps to her feet and asks again, what happened to Runan? What did Viren do to him? Still unable to make eye contact with her, he expresses that he doesn't know, but he can speculate. He knows that he was captured, but after that, Viren took him. He still, once again, is unable to refer to Viren as his father. He then adds that he doubts that he lived for very long. Rayla, still holding on to hope, asks, but you don't know. Then, in an outburst of emotion, Soren smashes the wooden sword that he has been training with into the ground gripping it tightly. He reveals a layer of emotion that we rarely see from him. He expresses that he thought that he had killed his father at the Battle of the Stormspire, but when he realized that it was only an illusion, he felt an odd feeling. He felt something he wasn't expecting. He felt relief. Now he wonders if it had been better that maybe he should have killed him. Soren is tormented by what he had done and what he had not done. He is unable to accept what he did and what he didn't. He wonders if it would have been the right thing to do to have actually killed his father. After this outburst of emotional honesty from Sorin, Rayla also opens up. Rayla releases what has been on her mind this entire time, what she has been unable to accept. She expresses that she has been bothered by the fact that they never found Viren's body. Sorin, still unable to make eye contact, says that Viren's been so good at fooling people and that maybe he did it again. Then, finally, he looks Rayla in the eye and says, the worst thing is not being sure. I love this scene a lot because we get to see a lot of layers 
in Soren's development. Soren goes from being a quasi-bully character for Callum to a hero by the end of season 3. By the end of the third season, he goes from being willing to do anything to get his father's approval, going so far as to kill the princes, the very people he's sworn to protect, to being a man who is willing to strike down his own father instead, to protect them. It is in this scene that we see those two sides of his mind reconciling with each other, as he's still unsure whether or not he did the right thing when attacking his father. We also get to see that both he and Rayla are suffering due to the fallout of Viren's actions. It's something that only the two of them seem to share, as none of the other characters are willing to acknowledge it. It seems, on the surface at least, that everyone else is already accepted that Viren is gone, and that the worst is behind them. But Soren and Rayla in this moment share their feelings, how they are both still plagued by not being certain that Viren is truly gone, and that Viren will not return to hurt them once again. Whatever happens in the future of the show, I do hope that we get to see Soren heal from this. I hope we are able to see him grow as a character, and accept that despite the bad things he did in his past to help his father, that those things are just that, his past, and that he will be able to move on and not be so tormented and ashamed. Also, I'm hoping that Rayla and Soren will be able to develop a stronger friendship, as they have a lot more in common than was apparent at first. I really hope that he and his father are able to reconcile before the end of the series. Viren has done a lot of damage, not just to the world, but to his son. And I hope there will be an opportunity for them to heal, even if it's just a little. I've known Viren longer than anyone here. I mean, because he's my dad, but it took me a long time to understand who my dad really is. And it was hard to see, because I really, really looked up to him. He's smart, and, and the way he talks, you really believe that he's a good person, that, that everything he does is to protect his family, his home, or, or all of humanity. He makes you think that as long as you do what he says, you must be doing the right thing. Even when he asks you to do something bad, Something... evil. So, the truth is, someone who wants you to do horrible things and convinces you that they're good? That's a villain. My dad is a villain. And he's only gonna get more powerful, and the more powerful he gets, the more people will listen to him, and believe him, and follow him. So, maybe we could run, and we'd be safe for a while, but he's not gonna give up. It may seem hopeless, but, but our only chance is to fight him here, while we're all together. The only way to stop this is to look evil in the face and say, no more.